Hola guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Roxanne. If it's your first time here, then welcome. Today I want to show you guys some of some of the books that I have acquired recently. So you guys know that I collect Pride and Prejudice editions and I like I like to show those to you in, in its own video, but I just want for reference to show you that you guys have probably ow. You guys have probably seen this one. It is the um like the really pretty kind of Barnes and Noble stretchy um collector's editions and i had only ever seen this one uh but the other day i saw that they had sense and sensibility and persuasion and the edges are colored and they look beautiful all together and it'd be great be really pretty to be able to collect all of hers um i recently read mansfield park and loved it so i would love to get an edition of that one um as well but I haven't, I haven't seen it yet I got two arcs in my from the store also one is the bookshop on the shore by Jenny Colgan and this she's the author of the bookstore on the corner which I read not too long ago to be completely honest this seems like a very similar plot but it's a book about books it's um is gonna be very cozy and you guys know that i love those types of books so i'm gonna get it anyway or i'm gonna read it anyway and then i got the moon the satapur Moon moonstone which is a mystery of 1920s india by sujata masi and I am currently reading the first of these, which is The Widows of Malabar Hill, and loving it. And so this is the second one. It came out in hardcover. I will probably wait to get it when it comes out on paperback so that my two books match. But I am excited to have the arc of it so that I can at least read it. Um, I also, I was, I was sent um, by Echo Books. I'm very, very grateful. A finished copy of... The Affairs of the Falcons by Melissa Rivero. This is a this is a family um, literary uh, literary fiction um, kind of family based drama that is by, written by a Latinx author. So I am very very excited about it. In my sort of Latinx Instagram community it's been making the rounds and i had my eye on it regardless and then they reached out to me and asked if i would like a copy and of course um they were very kind enough to send this to me so i cannot wait to get into this and it's been um luis alberto urrea wrote a little blurb of it and i'm currently reading his book house of the broken angels which i mentioned in my last book haul uh, I'm trying to read some of the some you know Latinx authors so that I can have a good selection to make a video come uh, Hispanic Heritage Month later in the fall. So this will be one of the ones that I'll be reading for that as well in preparation for that. In addition to that, I will also be reading um, Nocturna by Maya Montaigne. Motane. And this is a YA fantasy that is Mayan based. Um, and I, it's, first of all, it's a gorgeous book. The end papers are beautiful. And I have never read a Mayan inspired fantasy. So I am here for it. And the first thing that it says um, in the little in the subtitle is a faceless thief. And you guys know that thieves or thief anything along those lines is is a key bookish term, a key term for me to pick up a book, especially if it's a fantasy. So I didn't really have to think too hard about that one. Then um, with the fire on high, these two actually came out on the same day, which was a few weeks ago, I think May 17th, I believe. Um, <clears throat> with the fire on high by Elizabeth Acevedo, this is the second book written by Elizabeth Acevedo. She wrote The Poet X, which was one of my favorite books when it came out. It was all written in verse, and I don't, this one is not, I don't believe. So I'm curious to see how that will go. I do have high hopes it is white contemporary also a beautiful cover and when it's naked it is also beautiful it has like papayas and guavas and grapefruit and all amazing things um 
Then I got a red, white, and royal blue by Casey McKiston. And this is a contemporary royal romance. And it's supposed to be really funny. Um, and I want to read this for June, which is Pride Month. Um, so I'm going to, I got, as soon as I saw it in the store, I knew that I had to get it. So I'm very excited about that one another romance i'm kind of very into romance lately um contemporary romance is the bride test by helen huang she wrote um she wrote the quiz quotient which i loved she is an own voices autistic um author um and she writes asian autistic female characters so she's an own voice you know these are all own voices and i'm I, I thought the Kiss Quotient was super cute and super romantic and super sweet. And if this is anything like that, I'm going to enjoy it just as much. So I got that one. And then I have, I think this is a relatively, I mean, I'm not going to say old, but. So 2000, this was published in 2001. It is Kushel's Kush Dart. And it is a fantasy book. And I see it all the time in sort of fantasy lists for fantasy books that you should read. I think it might have LGBTQ plus elements to it as well. It's by Jacqueline Carey. Um, the Land of Ter Deange is a place of unsurpassing beauty and grace. It is said that angels found the land and saw it was good, and the ensuing race that rose from the seed of the angels and men lived by one simple rule, love as thou wilt. Our main character is a woman who was born with a scarlet moat on her left eye and sold into indentured servitude as a child. Her bond is purchased by Annafield de Launay. A nobleman with a very special mission and the first one to recognize who and where she is. One pricked by Kushil's dart. Chosen, for, chosen to forever experience pain and pleasure as one. I don't really know what the heck it's about. But it's been in a lot of lists and recommended to me. And it's always kind of caught my eye. It looks interesting. So I, was, I thought, what the heck? why the heck not? I'm going to give it a try. And I love fantasy. So we'll see what I think about that one. Then I went to the Mysterious Bookshop here in the city and got Tana French's The Likeness, which is the second in the Dublin Murder Squad series that she has. I got a really cool um, bookmark there. This, and I think these are all companion series, so I don't necessarily think that you have to read one after the other. I just, I do want to read them in publication order. And this one is about Detective Casey Maddox. She had a life being a different type of detective. Um, I think maybe in, in the kind of drug uh, investigation area. <laughs> and she had a, an, an alias when she was doing investigations and she was doing undercover work. And someone turns up dead who was using her alias and so she gets involved in that and I'm sure it will be just as enticing and beautifully and expertly written as the first one was in my in my opinion. So those are a bunch of books that I have acquired recently. I am very excited about all of them obviously or I wouldn't have gotten them. Let me know if you've read any of these and what you thought. Let me know if I should make any of these a priority. I know already that um, this is going to be a priority because uh, Pride Month is coming up. I know that sometime before the fall I want to read these three so that I can see if I want to recommend them for Hispanic Heritage Month. So um, let me know about any of the other ones. And as always, thank you for watching and for listening. I love you guys very much.